Previously, on a Sappho Academic, the word hyenas pops up on Hybrid the Defender. Video, what is the Golden Sphere, Biracial Sphere, Mulatto Sphere, exposed deep dive into pro multiracial, Hybrid the Defender, Hybrid fighting hyenas, since who knows, hashtag hyena wars. Interesting. Very interesting. Official hyena anthem by the hyenas. Hyena wars. Hyenas declare themselves boss. Threatens doxing and implied sexual allegations. Hashtag mulattosphere. Well, well, well. So, yeah, that was actually I previously, if you check out that video, that's really the first like really really the first time i've been aware of that word being used while doing that video here i'm gonna do a thorough uh thorough breakdown of this word hyenas which as uh i've seen now has turned into a dog whistle the more and more i see it actually the next time i actually saw it was from a filipina lady but um that's really at the end, I should start from the beginning of everything I found and explain exactly what I mean by dog whistle, right? So dog whistle, of course, a high-pitched whistle used to train dogs, but a subtle, subtly aimed political message, which is intended for and can only be understood by a particular group. Now, it doesn't have to be a complete secret for it to be a dog whistle. Um, sometimes they, it just really starts off as a new term. Nobody really knows. And then people eventually find out. But it doesn't stop the people or that group from continuing to say it and use it as a dog whistle. So we're going to start from the beginning with Kevin Samuels. And um, his analogy of the black community and what he thought of it. Scarface, one of the hyenas I studied in Kenya. And like all male spotted hyenas, his life sucks. Babyhood is actually the pinnacle of a male hyena's life. Itty bitty cubs of both sexes rank just below their moms, who make up the entire top of the clan's social hierarchy. So cubs have decent said babyhood is the height of a male hyena's life because it's right then male and female hyenas rank right below their mama. And access to food, sleeping spots, and everything else. But male cubs' glory days are short. Females generally don't like mating with males from the clan they grew up in. It's prob probably nature's way of avoiding inbreeding. So once males turn two or so, they leave their clan and strike out on a lonely, dangerous search for a clan with better mating prospects. Hello, son, husband. <laughs> Lots of other. So just to jump in a little bit, he's doing commentary on a video. I'll link this video, but I'm doing commentary on his commentary and his perspective, right? Because this is also part of a larger problem this perspective in particular but there's a bigger array of problems around kevin samuel's idea of black women but in terms of this idea and the hyenas and the dog whistling um kind of ironic if you really think about it hazing by the new clan before even being allowed to join and once a male does gain acceptance he becomes the very lowest ranking hyena in the pecking bone cracking order you heard that once he gets in a relationship he's at the bottom he's at the bottom how many guys how many times have i heard guys in relationships saying damn man it was better out here when i was single because now that i'm in a relationship i'm at the bottom oh yeah it's, it's, it's hard out here for a hyena tell you man hyenas uh Hyenas have issues, man. Hy hyenas, hyenas got issues. 
So let me finish this out. Y'all want to finish the rest of that? Y'all want to finish the rest of that? Okay, I get it. So this is the first problem in this whole hyena theory. It's very simple. It's very simple. He's suggesting that the male hyena is like the black male and can never ascend above the matriarch. It's basically what he's saying. Because that's how this animal kingdom of the hyenas has been set up. A lot of different animal kingdoms are set up in different ways, but this one in particular is a matriarch and he's trying to compare that to the black community. So we have to ask ourselves why is the black male at the bottom? Why is the black male at the bottom? Why can he not ascend past a matriarch? So he's basically inferring that black men can never ascend to be the leaders of the community is essentially what he's saying. He's, I think he thinks he's making a point, but in reality, if you really think about it, he's really insulting black men. I know he doesn't think it's an insult, but he, he is, because he's basically saying that black men are no better than hyenas, and they can't ascend the supposed matriarch within the community. The supposed matriarch that only exists because there wasn't an existent patriarch in the community, so the matriarch had to set up because, you know, there was children involved, but now they're being blamed for the children. Okay, so let's reel it back. The tastiest food rarely makes its way down to him, and there's no way to move up the social hierarchy besides simply waiting, either for new males to join the clan below him or for males ahead of him to die. So this is another reason why this is just foolishness, because just, um, <laughs> just as if you're striving to be more of a man, there's things that you can do to improve yourself instead of just waiting for people ahead of you to expire. It just don't make sense. It don't make sense. So people really thought that Kevin Samuels has something, but if you really look at look at it and think about it, even with the lens of systematic anti-blackness, there's still things that could be done to progress forward and that's all i'm going to say but hyenas anything they do is not going to work they'll always get the scraps so they have to fend for themselves so even in a world where you get the scraps and you have to fend for yourself are you going to end up dying i'm sure the hyena at the back still had to eat food so it got food itself I think I'm getting a little bit too deep. Let's continue. No adult male will ever top a single female, resulting in a female-dominated hierarchy. No male will ever top a female, resulting in a female dominant gynocracy matriarchy. When Big Daddy died, the only way you moved up in your family and you still get pumped. Remember when I was when, when Maria was talking about how she fixes her husband on the plate and Big Shirley's and his, his unmarried sisters were hazing him. He so the contrast between Maria, the spicy Latina, the alternative, the biggest competition against black women and uh, Kevin Samuel's own words, of course, and then the Big Shirley, the uh, juxtaposition. He used to have to do it when he was little. He used to have to serve them. Remember that? And she's like, dang, all them unmarried hyena mindset women. Hyena mindset women. Were hazing the lioness of the lion. And whenever he... So he gave the hyenas to the Big Shirley and the lioness to the spicy Latina. 
Interesting. He's around out in his in territory. He probably moves one way. When he comes home, a lot of black men jump back into this hyena mindset. Male hyenas are subordinate to females, which... Unlike most mammals, male hyenas are subordinate to females. Sound like, a, sound like anybody's community? It's probably because, unlike most mammals... Yeah, so this, this question mark here is just perfect at this time. Because he said males are subordinate to females. But if you really think about it, that doesn't make sense. But I'll go through it because what he's really talking about is the children are subordinate to the mothers who are left in the community for whatever reason <laughs> uh, that the patriarch in the black community wasn't present. The matriarch was established for the children. That was the only reason. That was the only reason it was for the children. It was for the children. Female hyenas. Mammals, male hyenas are subordinate to females. Sound like, sound like anybody's community? So if black males are subordinate to the matriarch in the community, why do men have multiple children? Why is our community least likely to get married? Just really think about that. Because there's not much to say after that. So this idea that black men are not doing what they want to do. So when he says that women are on top, does that mean that women have degrees and just basically surviving on their own and being independent because they pretty much had to. So let's go. Probably because, unlike most mammals, female hyenas are bigger and meaner than males. Because unlike most mammals, the female hyenas are bigger <laughs> and meaner. than most males. Probably thanks to their need to stand up for their offspring in this kind of crazy feeding frenzy. Because of their need to stand up for their offspring. You know, the 80% of the children that they choose to bear out of wedlock uh, would do that they wouldn't typically marry. See, what I... about the discourse on the wedlock rate, it's talked about as if... The male had no participation in the act. And like, if we're going to have real conversations and we're going to talk about not finger pointing, um, we have to talk about it in a real way. So talking about it as if the girls, the women, were the only participants in what happened is crazy. Even with abortion laws, it doesn't matter if women want to have children they're not going to abort their children there might be um extraneous circumstances sometimes right of course at the same time i'm just trying to pick the right words it takes two to tangle what more can i say and yes you do have women who have multiple baby daddies we have to keep it a buck. There's a lot of men who started a lot of broken homes. This could turn into another whole topic, but I'm going to keep this as concise as possible. The data is out there. There's nothing to argue about. But it takes two to tango. And unlike pretty much all mammals, physically fit or socially capable individuals can't make their way to the top of hyena society to do most of the decision and baby making. They're because unlike most animal clans where physically fit and capable can make their way to the top, not in hyenas. Social mammals we So he's basically saying black men are no better than Hyenas, if you really, I know I'm twisting his words, but we have to look at the subconscious, really. 
And we really have to ask ourselves if there really is a matriarch within the community or or he's just calling the matriarch our mothers because that's what the matriarch is. It's really our mothers if you really think about it. Noah with such a rigid hierarchy and we don't yet know why. The only social mammals with such a rigid hierarchy and we don't know why. Oh, we in the black black men know why. We know why. Why? Tell us why. Because once females have power and they're larger and they're meaner, they don't want to give up power. So he's acting as if there's no way for black men to get their own power. You can complain about college, university, all you want, but. There's plenty of avenues, entrepreneurship, you don't have to go to college, university, but even still education is one of the main things. We have to keep it a buck. But these things are also attainable. These, <laughs> these achievements are attainable. It's almost like I don't know what to say because he's comparing black males to black male hyenas that's these, there's nothing more but really it started off with the males and we're gonna see how it ends it's gonna be about the females now because that's where the dog whistle is gonna go towards that's why they try to cancel us and dox us and oh they went l magazine and all this other stuff now yeah and they try to make it all seem like it's just hate and massage and war and tropes and this and that uh-huh. Spotlight hyena mindset. We do know the outcome, though. Male hyenas like Scarface end up plagued with injuries from harassment and hazing, and are prematurely worn down teeth from eating too many bones. like Scarface end up plagued with injuries from harassment and hazing and are prematurely worn down teeth from eating too many bones. Damaged, scars, injuries, inside and outside, worn down teeth from having to eat too many bones. Okay, so, I mean... I'm going to keep it a buck. I don't feel sorry for the hyena. If, if you know you want to eat meat, why are you waiting for the meat to be brought to you? Are hyenas really wired this way? And is, does, does Kevin Samuels really think black males are wired this way? Because I, I feel insulted. This mf -er is eating bones like what kind of animal is this what kind of animal is this it's eating bones and he's trying to make it he's trying to feel sorry can make the connection with black men like seriously this why doesn't the mf -er hunt and get his own food because end of the day whether you know, you have critiques of capitalism or you love capitalism or whatever. You got to participate in it. And you got to survive on a day to day basis. That's how it is for everybody. Sure, it's become like um, to some like Hunger Games or whatever. But. Like this is this this comparison. Jeez. Like, really? I never knew. Oh, this is, yeah, y'all thought I was, y'all thought it was a joke, huh? Y'all thought I was just saying stuff. And, on and this is an emotional connection because people who look up to Kevin Samuels is watching this, like this is some groundbreaking sh when in reality it doesn't make sense at all. Average only live half as long as females do. Half the as best long. they can hope for is that at the end of the day, they'll have left behind a few cubs.
That's the best they can hope for. A male hyena strikes out on his own because the mama don't want him around, got to go out into a rough world, run up on Shirley and her sisters. When he try to get into the family, they harass him and torment him. When we finally get in, all he's good enough for is to make baby hyenas who outrank him, who outrank him, no matter what he does, no matter how, what his value becomes. No matter what he does, no matter what his value becomes, like, really? Like, damn, this is what Kevin Samuels really thinks about black males. God damn, wow. The hyena mindset won't allow him to his rightful place of the mammal hierarchy as a male, no matter how strong, how creative, or how whatever. <laughs> just, 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 just let that sink in. I'm going to replay so that. He won't allow him to his rightful place of the mammal hierarchy as a male, no matter how strong, how creative, or how whatever. So he has. So when he says that, he's acting as if there isn't black celebrities, black athletes, right? He's acting as if that doesn't exist and that type of hierarchy. Sure, it's a different world. It's a celebrity world, right? People have many different things to say about that type of world. But I see what he's trying to say for the average person, the average man as well, too. But it's too simplistic. And this is what I say about black conservative, black conservatives, because believe it or not, Kevin Samuels was a full on black conservative. He may have never said he was a black conservative, but he's definitely deep into black conservative ideology. Has to endure hazing injuries, internal, external, ground down teeth from eating bones, blah, 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 and has a, a, a much shorter life expectancy. And his ultimate goal, his ultimate giving his ultimate giving him flowers now is he got a chance to make a baby. But do you think he feels good for the sons that he made? If he made daughters, he's like, ooh, at least, she, at least she's going to have it easy in the community. But if he made sons... Which is not the best for the ones that turn out to be males. Woo! Whoa! So, I mean, there was, there was even the point about the female hyenas being bigger than the male hyenas. Obviously, if the male hyenas are not even hunting their own food, they're going to be weaker, right? They're going to be weaker. They're eating bones. They're eating bones. I cannot believe hyenas are eating bones. I never... My mind is blown. They're eating bones. So, hunter-gatherer has to be more active in catching said food, growing food, planting food, herding, butchering animals, right? So obviously over a long period of time, if one side is only getting the food, then that side is going to be bigger. But in reality, men are 33% bigger in Muscle mass, bone density, even that point alone, even that point alone. Very, very interesting. So we got the dog whistle, right? Now we're going to see how it formulates and how different people use it. Let me just go through the term dehumanize, dehumanization is the denial of full humanness in others and the cruelty and suffering that accompanies it. A practical definition refers to it as the viewing and treatment of, of other people as though they lack the mental capacities that are commonly attributed to human beings. Dehumanize. And that's what we're seeing here. By comparing and using an animal to talk about black women. We have the first title here, 24K views. 
And there were black women hyenas on the panel last night, but I liked them. So there is no confusion whether he's talking about male or female. Another one, hyenas, drunk on Lapif, let's talk, passport bros, et cetera, et cetera. 18K views. We can see black women are on the panel. Lapif Network again. So this is the third video. Unruly hyenas. Why black men leave black women and marry outside their race. What? So not only did he use the dog whistle, but he's just putting everything out in the open. Why black men leave black women and marry outside their race. So this is the emotions that come out of the dog whistle in black and white, plain to see, front and center, live and direct. Hyenas. Here's another one. Sad music. Wicked hyenas coming for Kevin Samuels before his body is even cold. What did J. Cole say? Cold world. So the wicked hyenas, but even before this mishap, whatever happened there, hyenas was being invoked. And uh, Kevin Samuels did that video about a year ago with the hyenas and everything. Here's another one, Crimson Cure. Why hyenas shame good women. So this is an attempt to divide hyenas from actual women. And we're going to see more of that dog whistle because now as men use it, black men use it, use the dog whistle, now this um, Filipina who has been making waves on social media, let's see what she has to say. So this is to show that it comes from her channel, Helga Babushka from the Philippines. This is a reaction from the same video. Dear Passport Boys, Dear Passport Bros, stop calling yourself Passport Boys and Passport Bros. Are you going to the Philippines to look for a Filipina queen or what? So stop calling yourself Passport Boys and Passport Bros. Start calling yourself Passport Kings. That's right. Passport Kings. Oh my. Right. You are a Passport Kings. Now, if you're going to the Philippines to just pack around, pull around, screw around as many women uh, as you want, uh, then call yourself Passport Bros and Passport Boys. Uh, Otherwise, if you want to go to the Philippines to look for a Filipina queen and she will treat you like a king, then you better start calling yourself Passport King. Understood? Good. Interesting. Okay, so that's her message to the Passport King. Kings, the kings. So we move on. So a lot of black. Listen, trying to listen for the dog whistle now. Women DM me and told me to stop talking about black men. They were like, leave our black men alone. They're ours. No one is interested marrying about Filipina. Well, the good news is I'm not here to listen to them because the good news is a lot of Filipina are interested in marrying black men. That's right. So listen to me, Filipina ladies, okay? Black men are super interested in marrying Filipina women, especially when you are a big Filipina. That's right. So if you're oh, a big girl oh, in the Philippines... What'd she say? ...and think that no one wants to marry you or... Let's go back. A big girl in the Philippines and a think girl. that no one wants to marry you or you think that no one is attractive to you don't worry my friend because black men or chocolate men love big girls the big girls she's saying she got the Filipino BBWs 
the Filipina BBWs for the Passport Bros. Oh, let's go. The Passport Kings. Sorry, the Kings. The BBWs, the Filipina BBW. Why is that? Because big girls don't cry. And as far as I know, <laughs> she said big girls don't cry. She said big girls don't cry. I know she's right. No, good black men have a reputation of being romantic, seductive, caring, loving, and sweet. That's right. That's how black men are to their women. Well, obviously not all because I've seen it. So you big girls should marry black men because you know why? We must keep our reputation in the Philippines. So you're probably talking about what reputation? Well, as we all know, Philippines is number one with everything. We're number one when it comes to talent, creativity, and beauty. That's one of the reasons why you should marry a black man, only if they're good. Because you know why? We want their gene. What? I mean, I'm talking. Oh my, what you say? It comes to talent, creativity, and beauty. That's one of the reasons why you should marry a black man, only if they're good. Because you know only why we good. want their gene. The I genes. Mean, I'm talking about basketball, oh. strong, Ooh. singing, ah. dancing, ah. and most of all, boxing. <laughs> oh, oh, she liked I mean, that. She liked that. She want the jeans. Listen to her. Let's play that back one more time. Married, live like and direct. You know me, how I do research. Boom. Everything. We're number one when it comes to talent, creativity, and beauty. That's one of the reasons why you should marry a black man. Only if they're good. Only. Because you know why? We want their gene. Genes. I mean, I'm talking about basketball, mm. strong, mm. singing, Tell dancing, oh. and most of all, Say it. boxing. Boxing. <laughs> I mean, oh, many yeah. Filipinas, they marry she loved, she loved that. She loved that. White men because they want the beauty and look how many crowns we get from beauty pageants. However, ladies... Beauty will not last forever. Talents is what we need because talents and creativity will last for a very long time. So, she's trying to do some DNA matchmaking. She want to, oh, we got the creativity. We got this. We're the best in Asia. So we'll take the jeans from the black man. We get the basketball. We get the we get the rappers. We get the draw rappers. We get the bling bling. Oh, we get the dancing. We get the TikTok dances. Listen to her. What are you waiting for, Filipina girls, especially the big girls? Mary, the big girls, the BBWs. Someone needs to tell her. <laughs> Someone needs to tell her about BBWs. That's the that's the term. That's the term you should be using. She said I'm obsessed with thick women. And that's right. I like my girls, baby W. A chocolate man now. Well, to be honest, guys, we Filipina are the black version of Asia. We I've heard this before. I'm not even going to cap. I'm not even going to cap. I've heard the Philippines refer to themselves as the black people of Asia because of uh, their very dark skin. So I I've heard this. I've heard this. So I'm not even going to cap. And now. Well, to be honest, guys, we Filipina are the black version of Asia. We can act like a queen. At the same time, we can also think like a masculine. Oh, like a masculine. Okay. So, still listening for the dog whistle. I know that was a lot, but that was a very important video to show the mindset of what she's thinking. She's talking about jeans, straight up. She's talking about big girls. Big girls don't cry. He listened to 50 Cent. I'm not even mentioning any names except Black Kings or Afam Kings. They said, you can have them. We don't care. They're just an old toy. And I was like, okay, that's not a problem because we Filipina value old toys. 
And now that I'm trying to help all these Afam kings and black kings, it's still a problem. They're laughing and bashing at me for trying to help quality men to marry a Filipina. They said they don't care, but they're still talking about it. Are you sure you don't care or are you just afraid of losing good men in the Western world? Are you trying to stop me from helping future king to find their Filipina queens? Not gonna happen. So my friends, especially to my chocolate kings, please protect me from all the hyenas who wants to there stop me from finding your Filipina queen. So my friends, especially to my chocolate kings, please protect me from all the hyenas who wants to stop me from finding your Filipina queen. Thank you. So, I thoroughly went through that, right? You know, you would think this trick, she has a black man. She does. She don't even have a black man. I don't know if she considers him black, but clearly, he's uh, not African American. I mean, I'll put money on that too. But you see the way she's talking; it's a grift. Because a lot of these uh, women, they're coming into the manosphere. They're cleaning house. They're taking money from all these guys. They don't even realize it. They're boosting her videos. There's many others as well, too, that cater. But that's the dog whistle. That's the full circle. Right? That's how far it could travel. And everything. Used as an insult. People might just say it's just words, but what's the point of creating new terms that only degrade black women? That goes for both sides, but, you know, I shown from the beginning where it really all started. The analogy. The analogy that's completely off doesn't even make sense it kind of makes sense if you think it's a done deal with matriarchy in the black community if you think black men cannot do nothing in this world i mean that must be what you think but there really isn't anything left so hyenas is a new dog whistle of the manosphere Tell me what you think and uh, stay tuned for the next video. I'm out.